How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at select properties of liquid. So our objectives will be to describe the underlying cause for viscosity, surface tension, and capillary action. All right, so cohesion and intermolecular attractive forces. Cohesion is when molecules of a substance are being attracted to each other. Co means together. So we have water molecules, for example, being attracted to the other water molecules around them. Uh, and if you take a look at the image, you can see that they are attracted to each other. And that's why they get kind of this like, uh, you know, water droplet shape. Why don't they just spread out completely? It's because the water molecules are attracted to the other water molecules around them, holding them together. So these cohesive forces are responsible for many properties of liquids. And we're going to take a look at a couple, including surface tension and viscosity. So surface tension, here's a little demo you could do at home. If you got an eyedropper and a coin, you can slowly put water on top of a coin and you can see it'll bead up and form like a bubble instead of the spreading out and running over the sides of the coin. So the definition of surface tension is the energy needed to increase the surface area of a liquid by a certain amount. So you can see it beads up. If we were to flatten it out, we'd be increasing the surface area and it would take a certain amount of energy to flatten that out. So the big idea, molecules are attracted to all other water molecules nearby, water being the example. Uh, so here we got water, they're attracted to each other. You know, this water molecule is attracted to that water molecule. They're all attracted to each other in that water droplet. But if we take a look at the surface, those molecules only have water molecules below them and to the side. So this results in the surface molecules being attracted to each other at the surface and a net downward force, right? So they're being pulled towards each other. They wanna hold hands and hang out and they're also being pulled down. That's creating tension at the surface. If you wanted to push apart those surface molecules, you need to overcome that net force. If you're trying to say, hey, I'm trying to get in between here, you have to not only push them aside, but you need to overcome this downward force that's pulling them down. So you ever see a bug floating on the surface of the water and go, hey, I wonder what's going on there? Like here's a terrifying example of a spider uh, on the surface of the water being supported by the surface tension. You can see the water gets kind of depressed a little bit where the weight of the legs is pushing down on it, but it doesn't break through the water. How is that possible? Uh, well, the force of that spider is not enough to break that surface tension. So when their feet push down on the surface, it increases the surface area. So if this is the surface of the water, when they have their legs on them, they're pushing down and it increases the surface area. So the surface area there now is greater than it was when it was just flat. The force required to increase that surface area is surface tension. So how much did the surface area go up? And then how much force did that take? right? Uh, the greater the intermolecular attractive forces are, the greater the surface tension is. So the more attracted those water molecules are to each other, the stronger that tension is going to be. Uh, yeah. So viscosity, you can see I got a little demo here of some honey that I, it's, it says cold, but it's really like room temperature honey. So viscosity is a fluid's resistance to flow. So you can see on the left side, the cold kind of resisting that flow, but the warmed up honey on the right flowing without much resistance. So high viscosity means there's high resistance. It's thick, right? Whereas low viscosity means there's low resistance. So the cold one would be high viscosity and the warm one would be low viscosity. So the viscosity is a result of the attraction between the particles in the fluid. The more attracted they are to each other, the more resistance they will have to the flow. So here's a, another way to look at it. Same kind of honey. I got uh, cool honey on the left, warm honey on the right, and I got a BB floating through it. So in order for that BB to flow through the substance, the molecules need to separate and move out of the way. So let me animate that. I got that BB flowing through the honey and those honey particles have to get out of the way in order for that BB to continue on. The stronger they are attracted to each other, the harder it will be to make them move out of the way and the greater the viscosity will be. 
So viscosity is also dependent on temperature. If we warm up a substance, we, weak, we weaken those intermolecular attractive forces, which makes it easier for it to flow, less resistance. So higher temperature, less attraction, means lower viscosity. All right, adhesion. So adhesion is the attracted, I'm sorry, attraction of a substance to another substance. Ad means towards. So versus cohesion, cohesion is a substance being attracted to itself. Uh, so in this image, you can see there's water sticking to the side of the glass. That's because of the adhesion. It's because of the water molecules are attracted to the glass molecules. All right, so the meniscus, if you ever looked at a, like a test tube filled with uh, substance you can see that it's not an actual perfectly flat thing here I got water that has kind of a downward going meniscus and here I have some gallium which has a uh, upward going meniscus and why is that so both forces can be present you can have cohesion and adhesion and when the force of cohesion is greater than adhesion you get this convex meniscus which you see on the right uh, and the reason for that is the particles would rather hang out with itself than the container, right? The forces between the gallium atoms is stronger than the gallium in the glass. So that's gonna wanna minimize contact with the container. And the way that happens is, hey, if we got away from the side of the container and mounted up in the middle, we would minimize the contact with that surface. Um, whereas the other way, if the cohesion forces are weaker than the adhesion forces, you get a concave meniscus. Uh, basically what happens is the water molecules are more attracted to the container and are pulled upward. This is trying to like maximize contact with the container because there's more attraction with the container than there is with the water molecules. So capillary action, kind of a cool result of these two forces working together. Uh, so in capillary action, adhesive forces can cause an upward motion of a liquid and the cohesive forces will draw more liquid up with it. So there's no suction or anything going on here. This is just a glass tube open on both ends, but I'll, I'll show you what's going on. So these tubes are called capillary tubes. They're very narrow glass tubes that will draw up water because of the <clears throat> adhesive forces. So what's going on? So the adhesive forces will initially pull some of the liquid up against the force of gravity, right? So you touch it to it, the adhesive forces are pulling the, the liquid up, um, and the cohesive forces are saying, hey, we want to stick together with the rest of the water, so in order for that to happen, we're going to have to pull some of it up with us. And that process will continue until the force of gravity equals capillary force. So there's this upward force from the adhesion to the sides of the container, but there's also gravity which is pushing down on it. Uh, eventually, they'll balance out. So this is the same thing that happens with paper towels. When you put them on a wet spot, you see the water gets drawn out, uh, as well as plant roots. Use that to take up water and stuff from the soil. So summarize, can you describe the underlying cause for viscosity, surface tension, and capillary action? I hope you can. Hope you found it helpful. See you in class. Okay, bye.